Hi, I'm Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here at the Haas School of Business, and with me today is uh, Sanish Kashav, who is the SVP of IT at Experian. Uh, welcome, Sanish. Good to be here. Thank you. So, Sanish, I think uh, a lot of people have heard of Experian. Uh, they encounter it whenever they uh, apply for credit, right? So it's best known as uh, one of the three big credit bureaus. And as a result, they have you guys have tons of information about individuals uh, that's continually being updated. Um, but with all this data, th there must be countless ways to monetize it, right? And so it's my understanding now that Experian is is not just in the business of um, uh, offering data, but also what you might call analytics as a service. Could you talk a little more about how, how does a company um, uh, evolve its, its strategy um, uh, based on the kind of data that it has? Sure, so um, you're right. We, we have a tremendous amount of data at, uh, at Experian. We have um, about 1.5 petabytes of data in the US alone on something over 220 million customers. There's something like 1.3 billion updates being done to this information every month. So you can imagine that the numbers are staggering. It adds up and there's quite a bit of uh, information that we have on our consumers. So increasingly, besides the traditional credit profiling work that we do, we are in the business of actually providing software solutions for businesses that uh, want to use the information we have, want to use their own information that they have on their consumers, and combine it to provide more opportunities for their uh, customers. And so uh, an entire decisioning ecosystem has been built around the data that we have and we provide um, solutions primarily still to the uh, financial services organizations in terms of software solutions, but increasingly to auto health, um, multiple areas where we allow them to keep pace through the life cycle of a consumer from uh, pre-screening them to um, originations and acquisitions of customers to customer management and account management and cross-sell to attrition and collections and, and those uh, sorts of uh, uh, actions as well. So our, we are in the business of the next best action mm -hmm. for our business clients to help engage with their consumers. Now are some of the clients just interested in extracting the data and then doing their own analytics uh, while others want you to help them with the analytics piece? Is there, is there a bit of a tension um, because this data is uh, really, your your core competency. It's your your uh, it's, it's your core resource. Um, is there some tension over um, data sharing versus uh, kind of analytics provision? Well, this is the 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 big revolution that's taken place. The whole democratization of data and this uh, willingness to share. Um, increasingly, we see our business clients come to us with propositions that include. Uh, setting up an analytic sandbox of sorts where data can be commingled, data that we have on their consumers plus internal data that they have, um, it have create models, attrition models, acquisition models, retention models um, that are based upon this combination of data. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with the improvements that have happened in the uh, cloud-based um, solutions that are available, analytics as a service, call it AI as a service, is increasingly mainstream. And so uh, gone are the days when uh, everyone wanted to hold on to their data and have no one else see it. Um, there is still a degree of that, but increasingly it's becoming much more democratized. Now, as a data company, I imagine you have a massive army of, of data scientists uh, that, that you uh, have put to work. Um, but uh, what are other skills that a company like Experian might be looking for? Are, are data companies uh, still primarily interested in, in data scientists, or are there other skill sets that uh, data companies are looking for? I think data scientists are still um, a very sought-after commodity. Um, just at Experian, we have uh, something like 3,000-plus data scientists and data professionals, data junkies, whatever you want to call them. 
um, working for us. But um, I think increasingly there's been a shift, and you see it in all aspects of technology, including, by the way, software development, which I um, am responsible for. You see this shift from humans needing to learn how to program computers and how to learn the computer language to now computers learning the human interaction, human touch, human speech. And so there's been less of an emphasis on those core programming and, and deep technical skills and more of a, the ability to be analytical, connect patterns, um, all that you are teaching, Greg, at, in your classes around being able to um, have a working knowledge of technology, but a deep subject matter expertise on the business domains. So the ideal candidate that we always look for are, uh, is someone who can, who can walk that divide perfectly, that uh, is able to have a working knowledge of technology, but increasingly can be analytical and, and connect the dots on business problems. Um, and that's a, a pretty unique skill set, and it's much sought after these days. Well, I think that's something that our MBA students will be glad to hear. Yeah, I'm sure they will. I'm sure. Thank you, Sanish. Thank you.